Bunny. Yes. This week on the Pope on Film podcast, woo, buddy, spank my ass and dress me like your grandma because this week I have a super special treat ski for you and for everybody out there listening in podcast land. All right. What do you got? Well, first off, a, a slight aside here. I am very upset that President Trump has has outright refused to impose sanctions on podcast land. Yeah. It is so blatantly obvious that Donald Trump is uh, working with podcast land. He's in cahoots. Cahoots. Cahoots with podcast land. Impose the sanctions, President Trump. <laughs> Bunny, I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Uh, first off, this entire uh, segment that I'm doing right now comes from uh, with a, a big heaping helping from my 12 year old daughter, Isabella. Okay, good. So I wasn't aware of this. Isabella made me aware of this. So bunny, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but a number of YouTube celebrities, a number of YouTubers, famous YouTubers, the type of people who uh, make funny videos while playing video games. And somehow they're a millionaire. Yeah. Those people. They have evil versions of themselves that sometimes appear in their videos. I thought that was just the videos. <laughs> no, think think Superman and Bizarro Superman or something like that. Like a Markiplier. He's a famous YouTuber. He has an evil version of himself that, appar- that occasionally appears in videos, and his name is Darkiplier. Okay. Also, Mark Fishbank. Uh huh. Is that his name? Fishback. Fishback. Mark Fishback. Apparently, that's a YouTuber. Uh, also, Nate Wants to Battle, all one word, has an evil version of himself called Nightmare. Get it? Get it? Nightmare. Okay. Yeah. Um, Jacksepticeye, Guy, who I am told is a person. Again, Bella compiled this list. Uh, Jacksepticeye has an evil counterpart, and his name is Antisepticeye. It, it's a trend on YouTube, with YouTube personalities have versions of themselves. I yeah, uh, but you know, seeing YouTube personalities, why do they need evil versions of themselves? I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I, don't I think that's just YouTube celebrity. Yeah, I don't know. So, well, that got me thinking. So I did some research. I did some investigating. Uh-huh. And, and I thought to myself, self, if there was an evil version of me, then where would I find me? Where would I have to go to find myself? What is the one place that I would would be found guaranteed every single solitary time. Where where could I find myself? Hmm. So so of course I went to build a bear workshop. Yeah. Because of course. I mean that's where I, I'm always at. You know? I I would have gotten that. Yeah. <laughs> I just like going to the mall, doing a bunch of shots, uh uh smoking a bit of hashish and then just building myself a shit ton of bears <laughs> you know? and i get like eight or ten bears and then I, I i throw them in the fountain in the middle of the mall and i just start humping yeah until they throw me out <laughs> you know usually i black out like halfway through the build bear experience and it's the throwing out that wakes me up yeah and then and then I go home and then Natasha gets pissed because I have like twelve wet bears <laughs> going into the house. Anyway, I was at Build a Bear Workshop scoping it out, and I did it. I found the evil version of myself. You did? Okay. Oh, I'm so super excited. I'm so jazzed. So jazzed for that. It's true, bunny. All of it. We all have <laughs> evil twins out there. And I totes found mine. So. Jeannie says she doesn't have an evil twin. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds totally false. Uh, no, that, no, excuse me. It's because I am the evil uh, twin. Uh, fake news. So Shut <laughs> up! You want me to come beat your ass? You'll see how evil I am. So I thought... I deal with toddlers all day. Yeah. Uh, so I thought, Bunny, Dismissing that what we could do is we could take some time here on the show and you could interview my evil twin because I'm my evil twin right here. Okay. And I thought, would you be willing to interview my evil twin, Bunforth? Uh, sure. Okay. Well, I should warn you right now, okay? Yeah. Bunny. That this guy, whoo, real piece of work, this guy. <laughs> real son of a bitch, this guy. Yeah. Okay. So just like, you know, just like, like, just keep your guard up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because this guy is a real SOB. <laughs> okay. Okay. Also, I'm going to take a break for a bit, you know, because you don't need me for this. So I'm going to go get a, get a beer. They finally... At 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 the the supermarket at, at the 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 corner store near my house, they started selling tall boys of Tecate Light. Ah. It's like Tecate, but it tasty. <laughs> the official beer of the Pope on Film podcast. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna crack open a beer and I'm gonna let my evil twin Stefan take over. That's okay. the name of the evil twin, Stefan. Already, you can tell that's an evil name. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go, okay, and I'm gonna let my uh, my evil twin come in here. So okay, so all right, Stefan, let me know when you're in. All right, you have you you have fun. Namaste, bunny. Welcome to the Pope on Film, Stefan. Yes, I am. I am so excited to be talking to you today, Bunny. How are you doing? I, I, I am good. So, what turned you evil? Uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure. You know, yeah. not not entirely sure. Maybe maybe it was my maybe it was my upbringing. I, I was uh, uh, the the firstborn child in a family of eleven. We have a very strong. Uh, family bond we're, we're i'm very close probably my best friends are my my own mother and my father uh -huh. you know i yeah. thank them i thank them for the way that they raised me raised me up in the faith raised me up to be a strong guy yeah you know I, and pretty much once a month you know me and my parents we we like to just go into the woods and just camp it out you know just camp out our feelings yeah you know yeah. Yeah. That's, anyway, that's, that's good. Uh, yeah. A, a little, so, 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 do you attend church regularly since they raised you in the faith? Absolutely, every Sunday, every Sunday. But, but since we're on the subject of church, so let's talk about you, Bunny, because I, 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 I was talking to Steve, and he told me, uh, again, no judgment here, because if yeah. there's one thing that Christians don't do, it's judge people, <laughs> but. I had heard that you, how do I put this? You sometimes smoke the devil's cabbage. Yes. And, and not that there's anything wrong with that. I, I just want you to know that my wife and I, we're praying for you. Okay. That's awfully nice of you. Yeah. Um, you you're not you're seeming so terribly evil to me, actually. Well. You know, I I guess uh, evil is in the eye of the beholder. I, I I work for a nonprofit. We help rural communities convert to clean energy. And when I'm not working, most of the time I'm either volunteering at my local St. Vincent de Paul or spending time with my darling wife Patty. We, she's a very successful Avon seller, and uh, she'd probably uh, give me an old boot on the backside if I didn't mention this. She's also a very successful mom. Oh. Yes, she's a mom to our three adorable bundles of joy, Blake, Sydney, and Daquan. We adopted <laughs> we adopted one of them, but we love them all the same. Yeah. We love them all equally. 
Well, you you have to. You have to be fair. They're only kids. They don't understand. Yeah, yeah. They're all they're all related in the eyes of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> have you played with Jesus's gel balls? I have not, but let me tell you, I know that book that Steve is always reading, and that is. So I'm so excited to have finally gotten Steve to read a Christian book. <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, you know, baby steps. Baby you know, steps. baby steps. We're gonna we're gonna get that Steve one day. We're gonna get him one day. One day he's gonna he's gonna when he least expects it, he's gonna open himself to the Lord like 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 I have. What would you say your last really really evil thing was? Oh, well, I went to the movies a few weeks ago with Sydney and Daquan. Blake did not want to go because he gets night terrors whenever he's in a dark sp- space. So, so Blake doesn't like movies. So I went with Sydney and Daquan and we we watched that. Uh, what's that movie? Uh uh, Ferdinand, the bull movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, we thought that was just a hoot and a holler. We just had a bunch of fun. But when I left the theater, I I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. We had left our uh, drinks and soda on the floor of the theater. Can you believe? <gasps> And and the 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 commercial in the beginning of the movie was very clear that I was to put them in the proper trash receptacle. I just felt so horrible. I I just felt so horrible. I cried when I when I got home. I, I, I know. I, I hope I'm so you've prayed about it. I I have I have I I've, I've prayed long and hard with with my church's pastor, uh, Father Jeff. <laughs> Father Vinny <laughs> Boombox. Father, Father Jeff, he's a great guy. You'll meet him someday. Yeah, he he's he's a very nice guy. And oh oh oh, hold on, hold on. I I'm 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 getting I'm getting pushed out of the room now. It was very nice to talk to you, buddy. I'll talk to you so much. <laughs> Can you believe that asshole? Oh my god! What a the hell is up with that guy? What an evil fuck! Jesus Christ, that <sighs> piece of shit. God, one of these days I'm just going to mug him. You should just uh, own him. I, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Ah. Can't believe that guy. The hell is wrong with him? I yeah, don't know. What? I don't know. Yeah. Can't what, believe what? I am an evil twin. Me. Freak. Jesus. Can't believe that I, of all people, have an evil twin. You know, it makes me just want to start doing meth again. <laughs> Seriously, fuck that other guy. Yeah. Yeah. Can't believe that. Uh, yeah, screw that other guy. Don't, you, don't say screw, Maxwell. No, That's a I bad word. Scrooch. Scrooch? Screw you. Scrooch that guy. No, that, no, no, no. That's too close. You got to think of something else. Like when Emerald and Bella were young, we would cuss a lot in front of them, and and we realized, mommy and I realized that we we needed to stop cussing around them because they were picking up everything we were saying. So we would say chickens. Ah, chicken. Yeah, Bella remembers chickens. Instead of saying a cuss word, we would just say chickens. Really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, chickens. That was that was like the big word. And, and like you 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 drop something on your foot, you'd go, oh, sort of a chickens. <laughs> you guys would you guys would flip like cuss words, and I would be like, nope, chicken. Chickens would take over whole phrases because for a while it would just be a word. Guy. Yeah, it would just be a word like that. Oh, that guy is full of chickens. Yeah. Or uh, or uh, oh, chickens him. Or what the chickens. But then eventually, chickens chicken was just the entire phrase. Yeah. Like we would just look at someone and just be like, ah, oh, chickens. Chickens. Chicken. Chickens. Chicken. It just chicken became like, hair. instead of like, uh, screw that guy, it would just be, ah, oh, chickens. You just point at someone. Chickens. chickens. Yeah. Chicken that guy. Well, that sounds, that sounds 
pretty convenient, actually. No, I no, we loved chickens. Man, we loved chickens. Chickens was huge back in the day. Chickens, chickens. 